During the district finals last Friday, we saw the good, the bad, and the ugly on what was taking place on the football field. But let's focus on the good. Let's take a look at the top plays. We start off with Joannesburg Lewison taking on Beale City. Logan Fairney takes a handoff, maneuvers his way up the middle, and goodbye. He takes it all the way to the house to put Joburg on the board first. That would go as a 62-yard touchdown. Fairney finished with 147 yards on offense and two touchdowns as the Cardinals fall to Beale City in the district finals, 33-20. Joburg finished with a 10-1 record. Now, let's take you to Mile as they were hosting Kingston. Brendan DeFloyo surveying the field, can't find anyone open, so what is he going to do? He's going to take it in himself, and that results in a Thunderbolts touchdown. The senior finished with 52 yards of rushing with three touchdowns. Sticking with Mile, this is what I call perfect protection. DeFloyo has all the time in the world. He's going to air it out down the field, and the junior wide receiver, Brandon Mills, He's going to break away from the defender and take it in for six. Mills finished with 77 yards of receiving, including this touchdown, while DeFlorio threw for 416 yards with four touchdowns and a pick. Mile falls short to Kingston, losing by a score of 50 to 48. Now on the Hillman as they hosted Cedarville. This is what I call basic. Nash Steinke is going to follow his blockers and cut it to the right and make his way in for six. What a great run there by the senior quarterback. And finally, how about some special teams? Early in the second half, Gunnar Melgen is going to take this kickoff, break a few tackles, then waits for a few blockers. And when the hole opens up, he's going to cut to the far side of the field, and he'll take it from there. 72 yards on that kick return. Melgen played the game of his life as the senior also rushed for 299 yards with five touchdowns. Hillman wins their first district title as they defeat Cedarville, 48 to 44. Voting begins now. You have until Wednesday at noon to vote for the top play of the week.